and Anva Anderson, uh, an independent uh, business advisor. Um, I've been working in the satellite industry now for 35 years. Um, today we've been looking at the aeronautical uh, market and uh, we've been looking at the growth patterns, the change of uh, uh, application uh, in the marketplace, the operation from the aircraft and also the uptake of the usage of, uh, let's face it, the new millennials, people who want to be connected all the time. Um, this is going to have an effect on the amount of data that we uh, provide for the future. Um, and there's going to be an overriding need to keep people connected at all times. Now, there are two difficulties with that, several difficulties. One, uh, the forecast that we see and we've seen today here uh, suggests that a really steep uptake over the next five to ten years. Um, however, what we've seen in the past from where we are today is a much slower uptake. And from my point of view, I would err uh, on the side of caution in terms of making any production or prediction um, um, into where we will be in five to ten years' time. Mm -hmm. uh, the market is uh, conservative, very much like the maritime market, uh, and the uptake of services when they have to be paid for is also quite slow uh, in the aeronautical markets. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there is enormous capacity going to be available from the various satellite operations. There's going to be the geostationary satellites in KU and, and not maybe so much in C-band, uh, but there will be the MEO and LEO services that are going to be available in the KA-band. Um, and we will see an increase in data capacity, we'll see an increase in applications, and we'll see an increase in passenger travel, as well, by the way, as cargo travel. Mm -hmm. um, but I still think that there will be an overriding uh, break on the enormous growth that we see um, and, and I think that what we'll end up with uh, is a very, very buoyant market.